common uh, questions which uh, uh, learners ask in GUI platform is what is this GitHub URL? How can I submit? Whenever I submit, I'll always get an error. Okay. The proper format is very simple. Okay. Let's assume I have a URL like this, and it should be ending with a proper file name. Okay. The, uh, don't give the repo name. So some people, let's assume I have a repo like this sample repo and they just try to paste the sample repo name here so i have a sample repo and uh, when you paste it will not accept it the reason is we try to extract the source code which you have done it from the directly you are using the github apis so if it is a repo we will not know which file to extract it will have multiple files a repo can have 10 files so out of 10 files which is the correct file for this we might not know it so that's why we ask you to submit the right files and with the right extension uh, most of the people uh, save us uh, like a uh, readme.txt so don't do that so it should be with a proper file name which is corresponding for that language if it is a java file they uh, save us sum.java or whatever the uh, uh, problem you are trying to solve with java okay do that so this is a proper format okay how to get this so that is a question next so let's assume I have a uh, I have a GitHub account you created and activated it. And the next step is like a create a new repo. Okay. So when you create a new repo, you will give the repo name and then uh, create the repo. So by that way, I've created one repo with the name. I'll show you my repo which I've already created. This is the repo. So when you create it, it will have an empty file sorry empty repo or it might have a readme.md either way it should uh, any one of the things will be there okay once it is there just to go on a search for Google, github for windows okay so when i search github for windows it will give me a link where i'll get an installer okay so this is the first uh, place where you just go and click it it will come up an installation thing and save it and then install it it's standard next 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 thing nothing special in that once you install it you will get this guy so what you get is like a, in the git in the menu you will find git and in git you will have git bash git command and git gui so i'm just clicking the git bash once i get uh, click this i'll get this command prompt okay so in this first step is to clone the repo so to clone the repo go to the, the repo you will find this clone red, green color button and copy this thing and come down and uh, go to the repo okay go to the repo and do that jit clone jit clone and then paste the uh, whatever repo name you have it okay once you have pasted it if you enter it it will clone the repo actually i'm already having the repo so but it is also cloning in second time so it is cloning inside this folder okay if i type ls i'll have it see i have a gooey sample repo i'm going into gooey sample repo so gooey sample repo and i have the file readme and sum.c if you want to add a new file <coughs> go to the particular folder so this is a folder and create a new file whatever file you want to do it so maximum number let's say max.java and uh, once you do it you edit it uh, with your favorite editor whatever whichever editor you want to do it and then i'm just saving it so once i save it so and i go here git add what is the name i give max.java max.java that's the first step then git commit hyphen m which is for message and any message my java program my max java prog yeah, any name any command you want to give it then jit push that's all so once you push it you will have the file over here let, let it push it i'm waiting for it so if i go to the repo and refresh my repo i'll have the repo here so what I should do is next step is just click the file and copy the URL here. So if I check the URL, it will have the proper name. See, max.java. This is the URL. GUI will accept it in the URL. That's all. Thank you, friends. Bye-bye.